Hello, everyone. Today we move to the last lesson of Unit Three, Lesson Six. Now let's play this quiz. The first one is: This is a meal in a day. You can eat with your family in the evening, and this is dinner. This dish is very good for your health. There are many kinds of vegetables in it. It's salad. We have this meal in the morning, and this is breakfast. This is a kind of fast food. It is round. You need to cut it into pieces when you eat. It is pizza. This is Vietnamese noodle soup. It's very famous and yummy. And this is fur. We need this kind of drink every day. It has no smell, no color. It's water. This drink is brown or dark brown. You can add sugar, milk, or ice when you have it. It's coffee. Listen and number. One. We rarely go to restaurants because my mother loves cooking. I usually help her, and we cook a big lunch every day. We have lots of different food, but my favorite is fish and rice. We always have fruit after the meal. Two. My family usually goes to a pizza restaurant on Saturdays. I always have cheese and tomato pizza with chicken. I love pizza. My mom and dad usually have pasta, and we always eat our meal with salad. Three. On Sundays, my family always eats together. We always have a big dinner with meat, vegetables, and rice. Sometimes my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins come too. It's a very special day for us because all the family is together. One. We rarely go to restaurants because my mother loves cooking. I usually help her, and we cook a big lunch every day. We have lots of different food, but my favorite is fish and rice. We always have fruit after the meal. Two. My family usually goes to a pizza restaurant on Saturdays. I always have cheese and tomato pizza with chicken. I love pizza. My mom and dad usually have pasta, and we always eat our meal with salad. Three. On Sundays, my family always eats together. We always have a big dinner with meat, vegetables, and rice. Sometimes my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins come too. It's a very special day for us because all the family is together. Listen again and circle the correct word. One. We rarely go to restaurants because my mother loves cooking. I usually help her, and we cook a big lunch every day. We have lots of different food, but my favorite is fish and rice. We always have fruit after the meal. Two. My family usually goes to a pizza restaurant on Saturdays. I always have cheese and tomato pizza with chicken. I love pizza. My mom and dad usually have pasta, and we always eat our meal with salad. Three. On Sundays, my family always eats together. We always have a big dinner with meat, vegetables, and rice. Sometimes my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins come too. It's a very special day for us because all the family is together. For speaking, 
Let's ask and answer. Use this question to ask. For example, what do you usually eat for breakfast? I usually have a bowl of cereal. We move to writing part. We can break words into small sounds called syllables. There are two syllables in this word, sa and lat. Now, part four, grab and count the syllables of this word, then write. Number two, we have one syllable. Three, we have two syllables. Four, we have three. Five, we have three. And six, we have one syllable. And part five, write food you usually eat. This is an example for you. For breakfast, I eat fur and bread. For lunch, I eat rice and meat. For dinner, I eat noodles and fish. And in restaurant, I eat pizza and fried rice. It's time to do homework. Part 1. Read the words and complete the table. Part 2. Read the text. Train to capital letters, add periods, commas, and question marks. Part 3. Answer the question. This is your free answer. And I give example for you. Number 1. My favorite foods are chicken and beef. I usually have lunch at school. I usually have rice, chicken, and some fruit. My mom cooks this. She loves cooking. Yes, I often have my mom. Yes, I do. I sometimes go to a restaurant with my family. At the weekend, it's called the sun. This is another your free answer. Write about food. Use your answer from part 3 and write a paragraph. Remember to check punctuation. This is an example for you. My name is T. My favorite foods are chicken and pizza. I usually have rice, soup and meat for lunch. My mom always makes dinner at home. We like cooking, so I'm happy to help her. On weekends, my family goes to our favorite restaurant. It's called The Sun, and it's near my house. This is the answer key for you. Did I ever tell you? When I see the clock and it strikes one, the skeletons crawl out for some fun. When I see the clock and it strikes two, the skeletons enjoy a steamy bowl of rice. When I see the clock and it strikes three, the skeletons step on each other's feet. When I see the clock and it strikes four, the skeletons don't have a shoe anymore. When I see the clock and it strikes five, the skeletons dance and feel the vibe. When I see the clock and it strikes six, the skeletons jump on the cow. Yahoo! Yahoo! When I see the clock and it strikes seven, the skeletons crash and lose their teeth. Lose their what? When I see the clock and it strikes eight, the skeletons eat the yummy yummy cake. When I see the clock and it strikes nine, the skeletons play 
in the snow for a time. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. When I see the clock and it strikes ten, the skeletons dance so wild again. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. When I see the clock and it strikes eleven, the skeletons don't know who each other are. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. When I see the clock and it strikes twelve, the skeletons find out they're running out of time. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. When I see the clock and it strikes one, the skeletons are all done with their fun. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la. Chuba laka chuba laka chuba la.